Hey everybody! How's it going? Oh, day number two of attempting to do this shit. Oh, I tried to be on time, which is a little easier said than done when you're running around with four dogs in the house and uh, Romy. And I wanted to try to get on um, the the Periscope on my on my iPad, uh, but I a couldn't find my iPad. I don't know where the fuck uh, Romy and Iris put it. Uh, also, um, I found Iris's iPad, but then I didn't know the iTunes password. <sighs> Son of a bitch. So again, I am on the phone, uh, which is uh, makes it a little hard to read all the messages, but I'll try to do my best. Um, can you hear me okay? I hope so, because I kind of had to, I, I don't know. If you can't, let me know. Text me and say, ooh, I can't hear shit, uh, so that I can make some adjustments maybe. I don't know. Okay, you can hear me. Okay, good. All right. Uh, okay, so I um, I wore a new hat today. I wore my Spidey hat. Um, see, it's very cute. I think Norma will enjoy this hat a little bit. Um, anywho... Uh, so yeah, I've had a little bit of trouble trying to get to the iPad, but I will say this, I have fixed the problem of the duct tape, for now at least, I, um, I fashioned a stand for my phone to sit on, uh, his head does look like a bomb, uh, anyway, I, yeah, so I fashioned a stand for my phone to sit on so that I can do this shit. I have to say, Derek is so much better at this crap than, uh, than I am, I'm just like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so anywho, oh wait, hold on, I gotta adjust my screen a little bit so I can see all your chats. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I've had a day. I spent, uh, the better part of my day, um, kind of just hanging out. Uh, I spent some time this morning trying to respond to, uh, some of the many, 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 so many, so many messages that you guys have been sending me, um... You can only see my lips and nose. That, that was not trap possible. I can see everything. So I maybe you need to adjust your phone, you. Uh, anywho. Uh, so I spent a lot of time uh, sending messages to people and responding to some of the comments. I have a lot of um, a lot more to do. I've only done a little bit so far. But I'll try to get as many as I can. Um, I just want you guys to know that I appreciate it and... You know, going back and reading a lot of the comments for the second time and um, just feeling the love, it, it really is great. So, thank you so much. Um, I think that's my daughter behind me. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, say hi to everybody, Romy. They want to say hi. <laughs> this, Romy. This is what I'm... So... Uh, Look, they're giving you all kinds of hearts. They like seeing you. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Okay. All right, go play for a little bit. Uh, okay, so uh, where was I? See, I get so distracted. <laughs> I don't have a beer today. I'm drinking a soda, which is not so good for me. But um, whatever. It's okay. I'll... Um, I need to tip the phone just a bit. I don't know what that means. The phone is practically straight up and down. Do you want it higher? Do you want it lower? You guys are killing me. <laughs> Put some Jack in my Coke. Uh, that would actually be nice. I should. I, you know, the problem is I don't really drink a lot. Um, everyone says I look fine. So whoever you are that's complaining you can't see me fine, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I was going to say fuck you, but that's not very nice. Uh, they say don't tip the phone. Just turn off the comments so you can see me better. And that might help. There you go. Sorry. Um, okay, so where was I at? Um, so I spent the morning responding to texts and comments and all that. It was uh, very nice, and I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep trying to do that throughout the weekend. And then uh, the second part of my afternoon, I spent doing one of my favorite things, which is I was killing shit on the Xbox. I have both the Xbox 360 and an Xbox One because uh, some of my favorite uh, some of my favorite games are still on the 360 and the Xbox One hadn't done their whole migration backwards to allow old generation games to be played. I've heard that's changed. Uh, I have to look into it. I haven't really spent a lot of time looking into it. But so I spent uh, I spent the afternoon uh, playing Gears of War 3, which by the way, Gears of War is my 
favorite. It's seriously, it's my favorite fucking game. And there's a couple of reasons. One, you get to kill a lot of shit. Two, you can work as a small team with a couple of your best friends and kill a lot of shit. Three, your gun, it's called a Lancer, but it has a chainsaw on it. And you get to saw bad guys in fucking half. Does it get better than that? I don't think so. In fact, I remember um, <laughs> I remember the first time I actually played Gears of War. I was um, with Derek. We were doing an, a charity event, I think, out in Los Angeles uh, for Xbox. They were an advertiser on the show. And um, we went and we did, uh, we played games. Like, we were like celebrity guests who played games with uh, fans of Xbox. So uh, the game they had was Gears of War. I never played it before, but you know, Derek and I love to play games on our Xbox. We've, we've always been big supporters of them. And, um, so we started playing this game and the people we were playing with were trying to teach Derek and I how the game worked essentially. And they taught me that I could chainsaw people in half and I would laugh so maniacally. I mean, legit like a crazy person. So, uh, they would all just laugh at me because I was so fucking crazy. And they would, they would try to draw the bad guys to me so that I could chainsaw them. It was a lot of fun. And I still laugh maniacally. And sometimes I make really funny noises. Um, like when I'm chainsawing, I'm like, yeah! uh, which is not a pretty face, by the way. Uh, but that's what I do. And it's a lot of fun. So if you get a chance, since I've got nothing but time on my hands, I'll be playing a lot of Xbox. Uh, my gamer tag is Romaine. How simple is that? I try to keep things, you know, pretty easy. And uh, so I will be playing some Xbox uh, in the coming weeks while I have uh, some free time. Uh, and there's a new Gears of War coming out for the Xbox One, which I'm super excited about uh, because then I can actually spend even more time on my Xbox One, which I really love. I should scope while chainsawing. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can handle you guys actually seeing the crazy look on my eyes that happens when I go maniacal and kill shit. I mean, it's a lot just to hear it. <laughs> so, I don't know. It, it might scare you just a bit. Um, but I am looking forward to the new the new Gears of War game that's coming out. I already, In fact, <laughs> I got signed up for the, um, the beta of, uh, of the, uh, the, new, the new Gear of Wars, Gears of War, so I'm very excited. Okay, you joined uh, Periscope just for us. Thank you so much, Derek and I. You know, I hated this idea, and um, I really... <sighs> I don't like to be seen. I like to be heard, but maybe not seen. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of weird. Maybe it's my insecurities. I don't know. But uh, I, you know, when the when the show got canceled, I just felt like I I I just didn't know how to go on without being able to connect with you guys. So I thought, well, fuck it. I guess I'll just bite the bullet and let Derek be right, and I will I'll do the Periscope thing until Derek and I uh, figure out what's next. So. Um, I think it's helping both of you, definitely making making Derek happy. Yes. Uh the periscope, it's it's strangely therapeutic and um you know, it, it's just nice to be able to talk to you guys. Um I mean obviously I can't actually pick up the phone and talk to all of you, which is sad, but um it is nice to be able to at least communicate with you on uh on some level. <laughs> oh Lord, the rapture is coming. She said Derek was right. I've been saying that a lot this week, which is annoying. Uh but it's true. I mean, you know, but it is what it is. Uh, people keep asking what's behind me. That's my vinylmation wall. It's the wall that is uh, filled with all my vinylmations. And the glowy part in the middle, that's the sign that I built. Um, it has a bunch of vinylmations. It says the word vinylmation. It's just how I display my, um, my toys. And yes, I know there's a lot of them. Uh, so <laughs> well, maybe one of these days I'll actually walk you guys through some of the vinyls and, um, I don't know, maybe help you guys understand why I love them so much. Uh, it's, there's a lot of them. It's mo it's almost all the vinyl vinyls that have been made in the three inch form that I have. Um, do I keep the sign on all the time or only when guests are coming? I keep it on all the time in the middle of the night. It, it really never goes off because the lights in there are actually, um, it's an LED strip. So it doesn't really cost anything. Although, you know, now that I'm poor, <laughs> kidding. Uh, now that I'm on my way to the poor house, uh, I might have to turn it off. But, you know, it doesn't cost anything to run. So we just leave it on um, all the time. Yeah. 
So, uh, I want an Ursula vinyl. I actually have some really cool Ursula vinyls. Um, there were a group of listeners who went on the very first Derek and Romaine cruise who had an amazingly cool custom made for me. Um, and then I've had a couple other different custom vinyl missions painted by various artists, um, that, uh, that are of, of Ursula. So, uh, I have some really cool ones. And then of course I have the ones that, that Disney made. Uh, Charlie says, uh, that she's, uh, your favorite villain. She's my favorite villain too. She's a badass bitch with big tits. I mean, you know, she's a lot like me, I think, in, uh, in a lot of ways. I should work Times Square as Ursula. Oh God, no. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? I'd have to interact with small children. That does not seem like, uh, a good idea for me. <laughs> I think I'd scare them. I scare Romy for Christ's sake. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, maybe not, not such a good idea. Oh God. Where do you guys come up with this shit? Seriously. Where, where do you come up with it? Uh, can I show you more tricks with duct tape tonight? Well, if I had another person here, I could show you a trick. Did you know, uh, that if you like, let's say you are kidnapped and they duct tape your hands together like this, right in front of your body. Did you know that if you lift your arms way above your head and pull them down in a quick motion, that that will break the duct tape and you can escape? I don't remember where I learned that, but, um, it's true. I saw it. I've seen videos of people doing it to prove that it actually can be done. It's something about the force and yeah, who knows? Um, but it works. So... I should do a demo for you. Who's going to tape my hands together? Romy? That is a bad idea. Because <laughs> then what if it doesn't work and then I'm screwed, right? No, that's that's not a good idea. But maybe I'll I'll see if I can um, come up. Oh, shit. That's the whiny dog. Quiet, dog. Um, I'll see if I can come up with some other. <sighs> see this dog? She, this dog drives me nuts. This is our yappy dog. Flounder. Quiet. Aren't you glad I do this from home? <laughs> Anywho, okay, so I will see what I can do in terms of uh, duct tape um, things. Maybe, I don't know. There's a lot of great duct tape out there now. Lots of, you know, colors and patterns. I have some minion duct tape that is on my sofa right now because uh, my dog ripped a hole in it. <laughs> Romy, what are you doing? <laughs> Dogs, children. God, I love them. Uh, Style Arts in California wants to know which of the bitches is Yuri. You know what? <laughs> Honestly, that would be something I'd love to know. I would love to know who Yuri was. Is there something you'd like to say? No. Where are you going tonight? Cody. You're going to go see your boyfriend? Are you excited? Yes, boyfriend. <laughs> Shouldn't you go do your hair maybe? No! Only on special, special, more special! Uh, Day. Carrie Day. wants to, Day. Carrie says hello. Hi. Of Carrie and Tammy. She says hello. Look, you got all the hearts. There were no hearts coming in until you showed up. <gasps> this is a problem. Yeah. Right here. Because this little ham is going to grow up to be like me. Oh, God. Uh, she looks a lot like me. Thanks, I think so. <laughs> Do you think you look like me? Gia says I do. Gia says you do? But what do you think? Yeah. I think so, too. I've been getting lots of hugs. Lots of hugs. Uh, Romy, tell everyone where you said I should go work today. Because we were talking about um, unemp mm -hmm. un uh, unemployment. And uh, Romy said what? Work at Target! She told me Target was hiring. Why? It because is. <laughs> because there's a sign on the door, and every time you walk into our local Target, it says Target is hiring. So, according to Romy, mm. I should go work at Target. I can't imagine that happening. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I know a lot of people have been asking where Derek and I are going, what's happening. Ah! Um... <laughs> She is a mess. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we don't know yet. Uh, I do know. I can tell you this, guys. Um, we are we are going to spend at least a period of time in our uh, journey of unemployment. Oh, she's a nightmare. Uh, trying to find something together. I mean, I think that first and foremost, we know that we have something really good, and we're gonna work. <laughs> so distracting. 
we're gonna work to see what we can do. Hang on a second. Okay, go play, please. No. Yeah, you're. Don't put bunny ears on you. <laughs> don't put bunny ears on me. They don't want to see me with bunny ears. <laughs> <sighs> Look at this shit. This is what I put up with every day. Okay. I am not a bunny. I'm a monster. Uh, she is my first guest. She is. Uh, Iris isn't here. I know someone earlier asked uh, if uh, Iris was here. Where's sexy Iris? Iris is actually working. <laughs> Story of my life. She's always working. I have a second guest. His name is Daryl. <laughs> that is actually... Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is a Christmas gift from Santa Claus for Iris, and he sits in our house all the time, and he often scares the shit out of us because we'll come down the stairs and be like, oh my god, there's a man in the house, uh, which is rare. So, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, that scared a lot of you. I'm sorry. Um, it's just Daryl, and he has a mustache right now because Romy got some mustaches for her classmates at school. Holy shit, it looked real. It it does look real, but I promise you, it's just a cardboard standee. <laughs> and Romy is just being crazy. Uh, you thought it was Derek with a fake mustache. That's mean. Derek doesn't look that good. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, if I was there to come here, home now, and hear you talking, uh, will she think you finally have lost it? Um... Possibly? <laughs> no, she knows I'm doing this Periscope thing. I explained it to her, although she didn't quite understand what Periscope was. I said, listen, it's this thing I'm trying to do. I just want to connect with the um, the listeners. And, um, you know, so she's actually very supportive and kind. Can you please go play? Okay. Please, for the love okay. of Jesus. Thank you. Okay. Take, actually, why don't you take your phone and um, go play with it and get some socks or and shoes. Or charge it. Or charge it and get some socks and shoes on. Okay. <sighs> Parenting is exhausting. Did you know that? Because it is. Uh, okay, someone wants to know about Game of Thrones finale and my thoughts. Uh, well, I love the Game of Thrones finale. I thought it was really good. Um, obviously, I won't spoil anything for people who haven't seen it, but um, I really like that show. And I thought the scene uh, with Cersei was really, uh, it was intense. It was really good. I was actually looking forward to it because I've read the books. And I knew that scene was coming, and I really wanted to see how they were going to do it. And uh, I think they did an excellent job with that. The stuff with Jon Snow, oh my god. Holy shit! I don't even know what to do. The stuff with uh, Aya and, and her... The, the, uh, I just like, was like... First of all, I was so excited, but then the, the, the way it ended, I was like... Oh, holy shit, this is fucking crazy. And can I just tell you, it is so annoying to me that all these years the show has been on... Uh, that Derek has not watched the show. And every week I wanted to talk about it, but Derek, of course, is like, he didn't watch it, so he never wanted to talk about it. But I was like, motherfucker, I just want to talk about how crazy it is. And, um, for, uh, for people who, uh, they want to know, you know, um, have I read all the theories? I have read all the theories. There's some fucking great ones out there. And I hope some of them are actually on point, because there's some good shit that could be happening. Um, the series is caught up with the books now, so now it's like, what the fuck's going to happen, uh, you know, really next? Because we really, we're all on the same field. The the people who have read the books know about as much as the people who watch the show. So, uh, the dude in the background freaks you out. That's just Daryl. <laughs> he lives in our, he lives in our Vinylmation room. Um, it's Daryl from The Walking Dead, and now he's got a mustache and a sombrero. Mm -hmm. Romy, uh, Romy decided it's to put funny. that on. Uh, how far did I get in Orange is the New Black Season 3? Did I like it? Um, I love it. I've watched the whole thing so far. It's not the strongest season for me, um, but I certainly really like where they went with this season. I thought the Norma stuff was actually, um, my least favorite of all the stuff they covered. And I know that probably will irritate some, but, um, yeah, that, I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't love that stuff. I liked a lot of the other stuff, though. I really liked um, Ruby Rose. Holy shit, she's hot. She reminds me a lot of, like, a young Angelina Jolie. I don't know if anyone else thinks that, but um, that's who she reminded me of. Uh, someone else asked me if I'm watching Orphan Black. Oh, my God. I do not miss Orphan Black. Not one week. That show is so fucking good. Oh, my God. And I don't even know which of the uh, clones is my favorite. Yes. What? 
Oh shit, there's a cave cricket. I'll get it later. This might chase you out of the room. Yeah, go away. Go. Be gone. Kill it. I'm not killing it right now. I'm on I'm on Periscope with the listeners. There's a giant cave cricket in our house on the curtain. And I don't know if you know what a cave cricket is, but they are some <laughs> they are some scary ass shit. They look like um a giant spider meets a cricket meets a grasshopper. Do you guys want to see it? It's so creepy. I don't know if you guys want to see it. It'll it'll scare you. I mean, they're really they're really prehistoric. Oh god. I love there's some people that say yes, there's some people that say no. Oh god, people hate them. Uh okay, I'm going to show it to you. Oh wait. No, I'm not going to show it to you cuz it's cuz it's it's hiding a little bit. Okay. All right, I'm going to try to show it to you. Hang on. Let me see. Okay, hang on. Let me and see. Then will you kill it? Hold on, bitches. Let me see. Let me flip my camera around. Oh, I'm knocking over Daryl. Okay. Really Here it comes. It's up there. There it is. It's giant and scary. Okay. I won't make you guys look at it anymore. Kill it. I'm not going to kill it. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm, no. I'm not a murderer. I know. Here's the thing about cave crickets. They're completely harmless. I swear. They won't hurt anything. They won't. They're just crickets. Um, I usually go, the, the reason we have them is because uh, under our house, there's like a, like a damp kind of crawl space area. And that's like the perfect breeding ground for them. So every once in a while, one will get in the house. Usually the dogs or the cats will eat them or kill them or whatever. Um, and usually about once a year, I go down there and I, I spray and I kill a lot of them, but there it is. Uh, do they eat mosquitoes? I don't know what the fuck they eat. I just know that uh, we have them in our basement and sometimes they get in the house. Uh, you would literally die if you saw one of those. You know what's the worst thing? It's not seeing them. It's when one of those fuckers jumps on you in the middle of the night. Like you don't even know because they come out a lot more at night. And you'll be walking through the house and all of a sudden one will jump on you. I'm telling you right now, you shit your pants. You're so scared. Oh my god. Oh, they're horrifying. Okay. But they're harmless. They don't they don't bite or sting or do anything like that. So like I when I see them I don't even worry about them. It's like a yeah, big deal. Okay. Uh before that we were talking about Orphan Black. Uh so anyway, love love that show. I think it's one of the best shows out there. I think that actress deserves a fucking Oscar. I know that TV shows aren't available for Oscars, but she's so fucking good. And every time they introduce like a new clone, I'm just shocked at how well she is able to just take on a new personality, a new character, and just make it um, come to life. I mean, it's really, it's really remarkable. So for people who want to watch Orphan Black, it's a BBC America show. You can probably get it on demand on your, sh on your TV. And I'm telling you right now, run, do not walk. Orphan Black is so good. And there's a lesbian. One of the clones is a lesbian. And she's one of my favorites. I really like, uh, like her. And... Um, I think you'll like the show. So go and watch the show. It's it's a really fun, it's a really fun one. And um, yeah, so check it out. Some good summer viewing. That's the other thing. Now that I've got all this free time, I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to watch? First of all, it's nice to be able to watch shows when they actually air live versus having to record them and watch them the next day. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, there's nothing on right now. It's making me sad. Uh, okay. Am I going to still answer sex questions? I will answer sex questions. Of course I'll answer sex questions. I am the sexpert. I am here to help you. Of course. Uh, I think, um, you know, I like, it's one of the things I love doing. So if I can help people and, um, I can help them have better, healthier sex lives, you know, I'm always happy to do, happy to do that. Uh, sometimes I get emails through Facebook and whatnot, and I try to respond as I can. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it just depends. Uh, do you need to sign up to see Derek and I together tomorrow? Derek is going to post something up on um, the Facebook page, I think. Uh, so be looking at that, and it'll give you all the instructions on how to follow us tomorrow when we try to do our... It's like a YouTube thing. I don't know how it works exactly. We, tr we tried it. We tested it today, and it worked fine. Um, so uh, when we do that tomorrow, he'll he'll let you know where and when. We're, what, my my plan with the, these videos for the time being, just so you know, is I'm going to try to make some appointment uh, viewing. So I will post on my Twitter and on my Facebook page when I plan on doing a Periscope video. I'll probably try to keep it pretty consistent in time um, just so that, you know, 
everyone kind of gets used to it for the time being. And really, part of the reason why at least I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that uh, you guys know um, what we're up to and, you know, kind of where we're at. I know you guys have a lot of questions. Uh, some I can answer, some I can't. Um, but I just kind of want to be in touch because, you know, Derek and I are going to try to do something. And uh, when that happens, uh, if there's something amazing I know about our bitches, you are loyal and you are awesome. And I know many of you will follow us to the ends of the earth, which I can't even begin to tell you how much I appreciate. And um, we want you there with us for whatever the next thing is. So, yeah. Uh, Dave wants a tour. I, <laughs> I promise I will give you guys a tour at some point. Um, my house is still a mess. I have not felt like cleaning it. <laughs> so not tonight. Uh, but I promise, I do promise in the very near future, I will give you guys a, a tour of the, um, of the house. Uh, I need to set up a number where we can call and leave comments and voicemails, maybe, uh, a replay on Periscope. Um, I mean, listen, if you have questions you want to ask me, you can email me. I will give you my email address. Moving forward, I'm going to be using uh, Romaine Patterson at Gmail. Uh, so if you have any questions for me, you can email me there. You can email me through Facebook, and I can try to answer some of those questions when I do this. Um, on Monday, what will air on OutQ? Well, I would assume the regular lineup of shows will air on OutQ. Uh, what will air in our time slot? I don't know. Um I haven't been told because obviously I don't work there anymore, so I don't know. Uh, is sex in a swimming pool okay? It is, for the most part. Um, I would use uh, silicone lube because it won't wash off with water. Um, lube is still important even when you're in a swimming pool. Um, if you're prone to uh, any kind of skin irritations and things like that, that's something to keep in mind. Um, you know, but I've had sex in swimming pools, so it, you can do it. You know, it's not like it's going to kill you, I don't think. Uh, I've never heard of anyone dying that way, but, you know, what do I know? Uh, your problem is gay face. Your quote from last night. Yes, I did tell Derek that. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I was so mad because I, I logged on to watch his videos last night, and <laughs> I got in, and everyone was, I couldn't make a comment for, like, the first, I don't know, fucking forever it felt like. And I was so irritated because I was like, I wanted to be able to respond to some of the shit he was saying, but I couldn't. Like the whole, um, oh, Romaine, uh, she would never write a book. She hates writing, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, listen, listen, I'm not a big fan of writing, if I were being really honest. Uh, and, but I can do it. I can totally fucking do it. I'm just not a big fan of it. So, yeah. I'm watching the time because I have to, I have to leave before too terribly long. I can't go on for 48 minutes tonight or Derek will, he will make fun of me. Uh, and, uh, I have a dinner date, uh, with some friends tonight who are going to try to cheer me up. Not that I'm feeling too low. Today, actually, I feel pretty good. Um, I woke up this morning and I felt the most normal I have felt since all of this happened on Wednesday. And I turned to my wife and I said, um, I feel really good. Am I in denial? <laughs> And I, the answer is I don't know. I really don't. But I, I mean, I hope not. <laughs> oh, God. Um, someone says go to the strip club. Now, that's not a bad idea. Uh, although, uh, I think my friends will have to pay. Um, Sirius has never officially said the show was canceled. Well, they told that to us. So, I don't know what else to tell you about that. They told us the show is canceled because they want to move in a different direction during our time slot. And by the way, that's all they told us. So uh, I know many of you kind of want to know what happened and how it happened. Th that's what they told us. They, you know, And then the rest of it was talking with the HR lady. So about logistics after, after the, you know, after everything. So I wish I could tell you more. I really do. There's just nothing to tell. Um, and the other shows don't have any answers either. So you can call and ask them. But honestly, they don't have anything to tell you either. So... Sorry. Um, you would have listened to it at a different time, Dave. Well, I, <laughs> Derek and I actually asked to be at uh, different times uh, as well, especially after Michelangelo left. We had asked to be moved into that earlier time slot in the day, and um, they didn't think it was our show was appropriate for that day part. Um, probably because, you know, we're kind of raunchy, a little dirty, um, and that maybe is not uh, mid-afternoon talk. So, you know, I don't know. I'm not the brains that run the uh, 
run the thing. Uh, do you think it's related to ratings? Uh, Sirius XM doesn't track ratings. They don't have ratings. So, um, no, I'm going to say, I'm going to go out on a limb and say no. Um, because they've never really had a way of measuring, uh, ratings. Um, obviously Derek and I, uh, over the years have done surveys and things like that. And we've used some of that analytical information to kind of gauge the size of our audience. So we had a pretty good idea. I'm sure the company probably had similar methods of doing it, but, um, the numbers of listeners were never discussed with us. Uh, why do people keep bringing up Alaska as a reason? Uh, I think, uh, I think maybe because, uh, you know, OutQ had launched a new show with the, uh, the AAA show with, uh, the girls from Drag Race. Um, I think there are probably a lot of people who theorize that maybe that show is replacing us. Um, but honestly, uh, I don't know that there is anything to that. I, I really don't. So, um, I will tell you this. I thought that last interview that we did with Alaska was, uh, horrendous <laughs> and and that really uh and that had as much to do with us as it did in alaska um so you know it is what it is but uh it was you know it was not a fun interview to uh participate in on any level because it just you know sometimes shit happens sometimes you're doing an interview and it's just not connecting it's just not flowing the way you want it to um, so, and I felt like that was the case. So that part, it, and knowing that that was the last show that we got to do live kind of makes me sad. I was like, oh God, that's how we end. Oh, that's, that's sad. Uh, so sorry. Sorry about that. I do apologize about that because that makes me, uh, that made me sad. Uh, uh, love you, Romaine. I know that you and Derek are both going to land on your feet. I hope so. I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe, you know? I had a saying on the show for a long time, believe, receive. And I am going to believe that we have good things coming down the pike. I'm going to believe that this is an opportunity and, um, to do something new. And I can, you know, I can speak for myself on this. I certainly feel a fire inside me that I have not felt in a very long time. And I think, you know, Derek and I discussed it a little bit off the air. Um, and, uh, you know, the last couple of years have been hard for me personally for a lot of reasons. And, uh, and I think this is what I needed to snap out of it. So whatever we do next, watch out because the old Romaine is back. And um, I'm excited about that, actually. It, it, for the first time in a long time, there's a sense of excitement in me that, uh, and just fire. I, I don't know how to explain it other than I'm fired up and I'm ready to, to do something new. So, yeah. Uh, why no farewell show? Well, I mean, I can, again, I can't say for sure, but I can theorize that typically um, when employees are let go from companies, you know, usually they get them out of the building as quickly as possible so that they aren't going to be total asshats. And, uh, you know, I think they were probably concerned that we'd go on the air and say something bad about the company or something like that. I get it. Um it makes me sad, sure, because I'd love to have had the opportunity to say goodbye to the listeners on the air, but, um, you know, it's not something Derek and I can control. So, you know, there's that. Uh, uh, I've got this, says Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. I think you're right. I think uh, I do have this. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge, and uh, but I'm ready for a challenge. I mean, you know, challenge is good, right? And uh, this gives me some free time to do some exercise and to lose some weight and maybe endorse a line of clothing, as Derek would say, um, you know, so yeah. Uh... What, uh, what did they tell us the meeting was about on that last day? Um, they simply said it was about the future of OutQ, which I guess it was. Um, exercise. Yes. I'm going to try to do some exercise. Yesterday I went on a walk for 30 minutes. Uh, I didn't get a chance to do it today cause I was busy killing things on my Xbox, but, um, I will, I will try to at least get some, some walking in before, uh, before the end of the day. It's starting to get a little late here, but I'll try to get some in. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited about that. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a hot bod like Iris. Who knows? <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh gosh. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Watch out, ladies. CrossFit time. No. <laughs> Fuck 
no, I am not joining that cult. I will do other things, but I will not, I will not, I will not draw. Uh, <laughs> but then again, I said that about Periscope. But I will not do CrossFit. Oh, God, no. Um, okay, play some Wii games. Uh, I don't play a lot on our Wii. We have one, but I don't, uh, I don't do a lot there. So, maybe. Okay. I don't know what, uh, what. Carrie says I exercised my thumbs today playing Xbox. That is true. I did. I did do that. Uh, uh, was I expecting the meeting on Wednesday to be negative? Um, uh, I don't know. It's weird. I, as I was walking into the office that day, I, I, cause I kind of had just a bad feeling about it the whole day. And I, um, I literally said out loud to myself as I was walking into the lobby of the building, I said, God, I feel like I'm walking the green mile. Um, and I felt like that as I walked up through the, through the building and, um, I think that was right. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Take my cave cricket for a walk. No, really, really, Bill? Uh, let's see. Uh, thanks for doing this with us. It helps with, uh, your grieving. Listen, we're not dead. <laughs> I, you know, in many ways, in, in many ways, it feels like, uh, Derek and I said this, uh, it feels like we're watching our own funeral. People, we're not dead. We're still very much alive. Uh, I know it feels like a loss. I get that. Um, <laughs> But we're still here, and we are going to try to do something for you guys, and we're going to try to keep the show alive. Um, so you know, don't 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 be don't be grieving like we're dead. I promise you, we're not. Uh, uh, where can you send flowers? Well, it depends on who you're sending flowers to. I mean, are you sending flowers to me? Are you sending flowers uh, to the family of the dead? I don't even know. <laughs> Uh, I have seen some funny, I have seen some funny things on Facebook about sending flowers, um, that had me peeing my pants with laughter. That's all I'm going to say on that. But goddamn, you bitches are funny. Um, uh, you love that I do extended scopes. I didn't even realize these were extended. Um, <laughs> I already see that I've been here for 40 minutes. Oh shit. I'm going to get in so much trouble with Derek. He's going to be like, oh, you do it too long. Whatever. I enjoy talking to you guys. Uh, it makes me feel better. So my friend Norma from the show, you heard her on one of the final shows, said, you guys are supposed to give me all the fucking hearts, by the way, because evidently there's something with Periscope that the more hearts you get, the better it is for me. So tap that fucking screen. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to tap the screen. It's annoying. Um, hey, Ro from Indy. Heart you. Oh, thank you, James. I love you, too. Um... It, uh, I love all of you guys. I really do. I know, it, I, I know it sounds kind of silly, but, um, you guys make this so much better and, uh, you make me feel a lot better. So thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Scott says his finger's going to fall off. Don't let your finger fall off. Well, you're not a lesbian. Go ahead and let your finger fall off. Uh, <laughs> the hearts get you placing. I didn't know that, but okay. That's awesome. Um, don't get a thumb cramp from tapping. It's okay. It's, Seriously, I'm just joking. You don't have to give me all the hearts. But, I mean, they made me feel good. So when I see, like, one or two go up, I'm like, oh, hmm. They don't like me as much at this moment. I wonder what I'm saying that's not so happy. Um, a gay guy should give you a finger cramp. Okay. Is that a good thing? I don't think that's a good thing. Uh, Adam Sank had on his cute straight nephew yesterday. Uh, well, does that mean I need to get some cute straight guys on here for you guys? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what that means. Uh, it's hard to miss you when you never go away, and I'm really glad you're still here. Well, thank you, Carl. Uh, I, I'm glad I'm here, too. Um, you were there for us even when, uh, you didn't know we'll always be here for you. Oh, thank you. I love that. I really do appreciate that. Um, you guys have been there for us for a lot. And, you know, the last few years in particular of the show, um, you guys, you guys have experienced a lot with us. I mean, you know, I talked about a little bit in my letter uh, that I wrote to all you guys, but, um, you know, when I first started the show, I was 25. I was a fucking mess. And I really grew up a lot on the air with all of you. And you guys have seen me uh, enter and, and end relationships. You've seen me enter the relationship with my wife, get married, have a child, 
who's wearing a pink hat. Um, you guys have been there when I experienced great losses in my life from my mom to my aunt, uh, to my brother-in-law recently. And, um, you guys have always been there and it, and it really, uh, it's meant a lot and quiet all of you. Oh, the dogs. She did it. Romy did it. Uh, anywho, but you guys really have done a lot, and you guys have been there for a lot, and it means a lot. Carl, quiet. Oh, he might make the noises. Matt, you know over the years how I've talked about how my dog makes really fucking weird noises, and he cries like a baby? He's, that's him doing it. He sounds like a fucking weirdo. He's, he's so, it's a weird dog. I'm sorry your dog is barking at mine. We go let Carl out. Please. Thank you. Go do it. That way he'll stop making that sound. It is a creepy sound. And what's really creepy is when he does it in the middle of the night. And he does it really, really loud. Oh, my God. It is, it is not good. It is a scary sound in the middle of the night. And it always wakes you up. Uh, okay. Someone says, in the pumpkin and Porta John story. That was the saving story. Uh, it's, one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite stories of all time. Uh, that I ever got to tell on the air. Um, I still think about Saban in that fucking blue hand. Poor Saban. Poor, poor Saban. What blue hand? Uh, your dog loves watching Romy. Well, I'm sure Romy likes that. Do you like that? Knowing that someone's dog is watching you? Uh, yes? Okay. Here. So why don't you come over if you want to say hello to everyone? Hi! <laughs> You're such a silly kid. Do you have socks and shoes on? Go get your shoes on. We gotta leave soon. Uh, do a Friday night Periscope dance party. Um, okay, I don't. I mean, I don't really dance a lot. Uh, dance, dance, dance. Some okay. You guys have so many questions. Hold on. Uh, who is the guy that has all the Derek and Romaine shows recorded? I cannot say because um, I don't want you all hounding him. <laughs> And it's just a rumor. I'm not even 100% certain it's true. Uh, I actually need to ask it myself, and I, I haven't gotten around to doing it. So uh, I will try. Uh, Barbara says, hi. Hey, Barbara. Thanks for joining. Um, it's so great because there's so many of you I know exactly who you are. Um, some of you are cruise bitches. Some of you I've met throughout the years. It always makes me feel it, it feels good to know who all of you are. Um, oh, I think I know who it is. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Romy's doing a dance party for you right now. Stanton, obviously. No, no, it's not Stanton. I can tell you that much. Um, people are asking if I could post the content. Uh, I can't. Sirius actually, I believe, does own the content, uh, which is unfortunate. But, you know, we may, we may try to negotiate something to get it uh, at some point. Uh, <laughs> I love these people who know who it, who the person is with all the shows, but is sworn to secrecy. <laughs> well, I, that just says to me that it probably does exist, uh, which is pretty fucking cool if you ask me. So, anywho. Uh, I'm having a margarita and giving you a farewell toast. Cheers. Thank you. I'm having a Coke right here. Mm, doesn't have any jack in it, though. Yuri has the shows. No, he doesn't. I don't even know who Yuri is. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm at 45 minutes. Okay, well, now that you've said the uh, magic word of 45 minutes, <laughs> I am uh, probably going to jump off here for tonight, guys. I will, uh, I'll try to join you guys again, maybe tomorrow. I'll post on my Twitter to let you know when I'm going to do another scope. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll chat about whatever. If you have questions in the meantime, feel free to email me, Romaine Patterson at Gmail. Uh, if you have some job leads for me, you can email me those there too. <laughs> Just kidding. No, no, I'm not really kidding. Um, anywho, so thanks so much for joining me tonight, guys. And, uh, have a great rest of your day. Uh, I hope you're out enjoying the, uh, I hope it's good weather where you're at and you're out enjoying it. Um, I'll try to join you guys soon, I promise. Um, but otherwise, have a good night. Say goodbye, Romy. Bye-bye. All right. Bye, everyone. You are the best. They are. Mm -hmm. I think I did this wrong. Why is it? Stop. Stop.